Um, there are probably six masters of the craft. I've had the pleasure of studying with four of them. The days of emailing your headshots and going on simple casting calls is over. You know, I'm not gonna pat you on the back. The reality is I have thrown people out of my class. You know, you have to do this and you have to love this more than anything. This is the only time I'll allow you to take this out. Let's start with you. Um, casting. Um, I've, I've seen people, I've seen the, the, the enormous talent that, um, that has come in that room. I, I have an enormous talent myself. Um, you know, it's a, it's a conscious thing. What am I doing today? What am I doing tomorrow? What am I going to do the next day? Um, you know, for those of you that say you want to do as a hobby, say I want to do this. You can have your full-time job. You know, for those of you that say you want to do as a hobby, say I want to do this. You can have your full-time job. I have my full-time job as a hand modeling, but I want to do this. You know what I mean? Say that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. You know, I mean, I'm almost 60, a couple years. <laughs> but, well, 53. But that's close to say. Well, not really, but yes. <laughs> but, you know, for, for my career, acting teachers, it's good to be older. You know, because then they believe you. All right, who's next? Hey. Hello, what's your Hello, name? Hello, Kanita. Kanita. Nice John Palana, you. nice to meet you. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm from Newport News, Virginia. Newport News. <laughs> One. Yeah, I did three years, Baltimore School for the Arts and Middle School Twigs program, and I'm just now getting back into the flow of things this year. Okay. Yeah. So what, what else do you do besides? I'm stay home mom. Oh, <laughs> sorry, my chair's rolling. <laughs> what are you working on? An Untitled Monologue by Jennifer Tunks. Which one? Untitled. Doesn't have a title for it. What is it about? It's about a girl who's being abused <laughs> by her stepdad. And I guess she's realizing that her mom isn't going to leave him. And I guess she just is the moment where she explodes. She realizes this is just the way life is going to be. And she's about to respond. OK. So um, let's give you an adjustment right away. Can I bring up uh, him? Anyone? Anyone? You, you, you sure you, you wouldn't be sitting for this? No. Well, okay. I'm in my room, so I'm, I might in real life sit on the bed or No, no, only because I will tell this casting director, say, why would you choose to sit one during, would you right. take this sitting? No. Okay. All right. So um, let's try it. I'm going to redirect in, in a couple seconds. Okay. Okay. All right, go. Why can't we just leave? I mean, he treats you like nothing, Mom. I can't believe that you think that we should stay. I can't believe I'm talking to myself again. I mean, in the last two years, I mean, I know you're not here, Mom, but there are questions that I want to ask you. All right, let's you. do the same thing we did. Let's have two guys come up here. Yeah, uh, you're going to move you back because I think she's going to hurt you. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Can I have two guys come up, the same guys that were here before? going there okay. and react. Okay. See the man in front of you? Mm -hmm. He's getting away with it. React. Guys, you got to hold her tight because I think this girl could drag you. <laughs> Guys, hold her tight. <laughs> I really think this, this woman, this beautiful, beautiful woman could Take, oh, you you got to do a lot better than that, guys. <laughs> guys, you don't understand. <laughs> I pushed that button. You. you were flying. <laughs> yeah, uh, Michael, Mike's got it. Can you, can you please copy Mike? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we should put a wager on it. How, how many says that she drags them both right here? <laughs> That's what I did. That's what I'm right, right now. Okay. Would you take it sitting down? No. Can you please go there right now? Go. Now. I can't believe the truth that we're The whole body! Stay! I mean, Grab I these guys like with nothing, you! Mom! What, why would you even invite him here in, in the last two years? Wasn't that ever a time you woke up and didn't find him lying in the bed with you? Did you hear me screaming? Why didn't you stop him? I said hold her! Don't hold her like a girl! 
cut, 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 cut. Guys, you gotta realize, if I didn't have, she would have clocked Andy and Andy would have lost the race. <laughs> I'm, gonna hit him. I'm not gonna hit him. No, no, I did this, I threw it, you know, I, I teach hello, I threw it intensive, and I begged the guy, hold her tight. A little 14 year old girl broke loose and went, <laughs> but she missed. <laughs> she was a little ADD, which was good for the show because she just missed the guy. But I'm just saying, really hold her back because, like, okay. you know, she would okay. kick my ass. <laughs> All right, cool. I worry about that guy on the right. <laughs> she turn around. Hold her tight underneath. <laughs> This man did what I just told you. Go after him with everything you've got. Okay. Your day just changed today. Your life will never be the same. Police just let him go. Action. Why can't we just leave? I mean, he treats you like nothing, Mom. I, mean, I can't believe that you think that we should stay. I mean, I know you're not here, Mom. But there are questions that I want to ask you. Like, in the last two years, was there ever a time when you woke up and felt he wasn't lying next to you? Those first few horrible nights right. didn't you? No, that was fine. I'm going to cut you there. Okay. Now, you're doing fine. Have a seat, young man. Me? Yeah, you're doing okay. fine. That was the obvious choice. Okay. You know, there's some lives, families, where maybe this is normal. Cross those legs of yours. You know, this is reverse seduction. Blackmail him without raising your voice, using your body language to seduce him with this monologue. Don't raise your voice. Tease him. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> seduce him. Why can't seduce him? We just leave. Lovely. I mean, uh, don't tell me you've never seduced like a man before. Seduce this man with that mouth. Mal <laughs> I saw your number on the bathroom wall. <laughs> okay. Why can't we just seven oh three? Right. I mean, he treats you like nothing. Mom. Love, not a worry in the world. I mean, I can't believe that you think that we should stay. I can't believe I'm talking to myself again. I mean, in the last two years, was there ever a time when you woke up and found he wasn't lying next to you? Didn't you hear me screaming? Why didn't you stop Cut. Him? I need you to seduce him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see the problem I'm having. It ain't your first time at the rodeo. <laughs> but what is the money? Like? See, that's the problem. No, no, that's the problem. Get it out of your head. These are just words <laughs> some guy wrote. Okay. Okay. No, I'm a writer too. <laughs> but I don't want to see an actor glued to my words. Right. I want to see an actor get cast purely on the images he creates with my words. Okay. You know? Okay. Like, you know, like, what, what is the opening line? I can't believe that you think that we should stay. You know, I am. Um, And he's not even my type! <laughs> okay. No, 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 no sugar here, baby. Okay. Do some. Okay. <laughs> Good. Why can't we just leave? I mean, he treats you like nothing. I, mean, I can't believe you think that we should stay. I mean, in the last two years, wasn't there ever a time when you woke up and found that he wasn't lying next to you. Didn't you hear me screaming? Why didn't you stop him? Why didn't you come get me? I mean, he's your husband. I didn't invite him to this house, you did. So why didn't you stop him? Did you notice I stopped screaming after the first two times? Yeah, I stopped screaming because you never came, ever. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Nice job. Nice job, lovely. Thank you. A nice job, guys. <laughs> and then
red and then a deep it's blue. A gun to your and head. You know, when you're out there doing your monologue for him, you get real time adjustments. Which most men never feel. Then saw to it. I am so thankful to have a talent like John Pilata uh, here in DC coming down from New York. Uh, that you have for acting and apply it to this. He's also one of the most practical instructors I've ever met in terms Nuts. of getting that dichotomy of, of working the business and the craft of acting Take together. Get to a deeper place without yelling. In the practice of the art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you, you guys in real life have personalities, right? Bring that personality to that. You know, you know.